Hello, and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis, where with myself together, we're gonna to be jumping into the Bitcoin chart, where I will be, of course, showing with you the most important levels that you need to be aware of, this time only over the next few days. Seeing as we've just started 2023, we're expecting an increased volatility to come. So I need to prepare you for what is to come in the next few days. So I'll be sharing with those levels with you as well as the exact trades that I'm in right now. So that then gives you the targets to be aware of as well. Um, well, seeing as we have just started 2023, I suppose I'd like to say this, and that's just hope that you are thoroughly looking forward to what's to come this year, not only from Chart Champions, but also what you can achieve yourself if you really focus and get that determination locked down, get your studies in, in order, and you know start to trade like a champ. That could be your goal this year, and of course, we're here to support you along the way. Uh, so for myself, I'd like to say this, that I am aiming to continue to give you the most professional accurate levels, as well as the most passionate videos that you're going to find inside of this cryptocurrency market. Of course, I love to trade and I love to help out. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this year to come. So you can look forward to that. So without further said or do, let's begin this technical analysis. That's what you're here for, right? You're here to learn and understand the trades to come. So the best way for me to do that is going to be do this video in a three-parter. I want to pick up right where we left off my last video, which was talking about the uh, bullish 2023 pump to come for Bitcoin question mark, <laughs> um, where I was in this section of the chart. Okay, so we were making the video right here inside of this circle. So I'd like to start off by part one, reviewing this price action. OK, and then moving on to where we are right now, which, by the way, we have just bounced off of the VWAP. OK, so I'd like to then cover what I'm looking for next and the next levels that we can be aware of in terms of, uh, you know, that that VWAP touch that we've just had. And this, once again, is what's going to be coming into play over the next few days only. OK, so more local, local, closer levels to be aware of. Um, so, yeah, let's just start off straight away uh, with the quick review of the basically there's about 40 seconds of video that I want to review from the last one. Why? So I can remind you of what I said and then dissect it so you can fully understand why I made this call. OK, so let's just quickly review this for 40 seconds and then we'll start to move on what we're looking for next. So let's just review this together really quickly in now full force after that failed auction okay locally still expecting a little bit lower here on the es which of course can aid our downside here on bitcoin low indeed but slight slight bullish divergences but in my opinion i would overall expect this actually to be leading to a continued downside specifically over the next 10 minutes will be key why because in 10 minutes time these was lost and I look back down towards this value area low right so a few things that I want to bring your attention to there, just so you can gain some extra insights as we dissect this together. Uh, the first was obviously talking about the ES, recognizing that there was likelihood further downside to come on the ES, which is the stock market. Understanding the correlation between the stock market and Bitcoin led me to then read the insights into this chart, which was bullish CVD divergences. Your inexperienced trader that's only just started to learn about this may see bullish divergences and expect them to be that bullish leading to upside, right? That's the general, you know, first textbook thing you would expect. But of course, I've been doing this over 10 years and via doing this so much screen time, you start to gain this intuition. And it was, you know, recognizing the context here that we're in, actually recognizing this bullish CVD is not the case. This CVD is actually leading. That means I do not expect the bullish CVD to play out. And actually, we make a new low leading divergences, not the bullish CVD divergences, actually leading divergences. So that was the reason why I said that, that I actually believe they are leading. OK, Recognizing the ES context, recognizing the weakness in the volume and the order flow, thus expecting them to be leading. And where was the next level that I gave you? It was right at that value area low, $16,306. So you can see where we made this video here, everything went pretty well indeed. As we made our way down to absolutely tap the very low of that value area low. That was a cool and a half, right? If you're wondering where I got that value area low from, which was, of course, tapped on the 30th of December. I was given to my team first inside of a Champions live stream that I did, where we can see we got that value area low, $16,306. So that came into play three days later, took its time, but we made our way down to tap that value area low three days later, which was given in the Champions live stream. But then, you know, this is why 
if you are paying close attention, sometimes the videos are a bit long, sometimes I get distracted left and right, but if you do pay very close attention, you know, you pick up on those little golden nuggets that I'm dropping inside of these public videos, you could have expected that further drop to their downside, recognizing the ES, recognizing the leading divergences on the CVD, and then, well, you'd have absolutely had the very low marked out as well with me. Uh, and of course, that was the low that gave us this lovely bounce to the upside, which actually ended up swing failure pattering this high, right? So then we had the very low off of that value area low, lovely bounce to swing failure pattern the high, bringing us up to, you know, this section of price action, where this bounce under the view app is, you know, starting to get a bit of force underway. So I'll quickly move through this as we look to what's happening next. Uh, but yeah, just to give you a bit of insights of what happened at this low for that value area low, um, you know, this was actually pretty uh, insightful if I, if I say so myself. So this is what I posted to my group. Please check the timestamps, by the way, you can see print screen from 245 posted in my group 245. There's no delays on any of these posts, basically what I'd saw in the time. And this was just prior to the drop. Okay. Just prior to the drop, which I can zoom in and show you exactly what it was looking like. If, if that's of interest to you, I suppose it is as you're watching this video. Uh, this is what it looked like. Okay. So just before that drop, we had had another test of the VWAP here. Okay. And after seeing this, I wrote to my team, this information, I said the next tap of the daily or VWAP, I expect to break. Okay, so we had obviously tested that daily at the time twice, and now this VWAP several times. And my, you know, the exact words to my team are, if we test this VWAP again, I expect it to break, or if we test, well, the delay daily, I've deleted it, but the daily was around here, right? If we test this daily again, I expect it to break. If we break the VWAP, we know our next level to the upside. If we break the, the daily, well, our next level to downside was that value area low. And this was, why was it such a nice prediction? Well, because we ended up tapping the daily to the downside. And as I said, the next tap will break. On that third tap, we did break and we broke down exactly to that value area low for the most perfect reaction, by the way, just absolutely beautiful. Okay, and this is where, you know, you've got to make your steps, make your plans kind of laid this out on Twitter. So understand the next tap of the daily is going to break down in price. Be ready for the next level, which was that 16306 value area low. Okay. Once we hit that target, you got to take profits on the short and take a long position and then you got to remain patient, right? So um, as we hit that value area low, I actually managed to take profit two on the short that I was in, which is now fully closed, not in that short position, that short position is being fully closed for around $100,000 profit. That is short is now closed. You won't see that one again. Uh, and at the same time of uh, taking profits on that short, I actually took a long position. So I now am also in a long from that value area low as well. Okay. And so that's where you got to, you know, get in that patience. And well, at then in the end, I'm still doing this right now, trading up the stop loss on that long position. So I managed to secure that. And, uh, you know, that brought us up to this section of the price. So if we just zoom out slightly, hope that you're finding this like insightful, by the way, of how I was recognizing the price action to come based off of high probabilities with the order flow coming down to seeing the perfect tap of the level, not hesitating, taking profits on the short, entering in a long position as price comes up and takes that last high. Of course, this is a brilliant time to lock in that take profit one. And this is what we were left with next. Okay, so this was before the rise in price. What we were left with was this scenario. I recognized and gave to my team the levels of the day. Okay, so the levels of the day, this was on the 31st of December, was simply the daily level above us and the CC below us. So our next level above is the daily. Our next level below is the CC. Those were the local levels in play. Okay, then we came up and we hit the daily really perfectly at the time 16,623. Once again, you can see print screen taken at 424, posted in my group at uh, 225. Sorry, this was print screen from 224, 1424, print screen given to my team at 1425. So there's no delay. It's as soon as I see it, I'm updating my team. That's the upper daily tapped and we are managing to time these highs like champions. And like I say, there's absolutely no other way that we're going to be starting 2023 together, right? So this was on the 1st of January, already back taking my trades. And um, well, even on the 31st, the 31st of, of, of December, we were still trading as well. But um, yeah, we obviously made our way down and we hit that CC. So that was Oh, it was it was absolute wonderful precision from timing the absolute high of the move off of that daily. 
okay from tapping the daily we then absolutely timed the low off of our first level that come into play which was the cc okay so now we can see we made our bounce off of that cc okay and we've made our way up to taking out the last high which ended in a failed auction okay so this has now ended in a failed auction of the high after seeing this failed auction of the high we then have come into play our next level to the downside which was the view app as you can see the perfect touch of the view app here which gave this local bounce okay you're probably wondering daniel did you give this level to your team as well well of course i did right <laughs> of course i did as you can see here <laughs> um uh we came over here yeah view app finally tested i gave that to my team this morning okay our next level intraday is the view app that was my next intraday level to the downside as you can see here this is the failed auction high and my next level to the downside was the view app, which we finally hit just before this video Okay, and now that finally <laughs> brings us on to what we are looking at next. I love to go over the past price action really so you can kind of see what I'm looking at live in the time. Recognize none of this is obviously hindsight that I've gone through here. Everything that I've talked about, the predictions shown inside of the group are all given before time. Okay, so it's very important to understand that this is what I was looking at. That's how I was thinking and those were my next levels before it happened live in the time. Now, of course, free over here on YouTube, we can dissect that information and review it see what actually happened off of those predictions okay and that's how you start to you know gain these sort of habits understand my thought process so you can replicate that and start to become a successful trader yourself right um so now we can of course look to what's happening next and this is once again really over only over the next few days of price action to be honest with you OK, uh, before I get into that, I'd like to just give two quick announcements to you. First of all, will be, um, uh, yeah, if you're interested in a altcoin video, I actually done a new altcoin video yesterday, uh, which you can check over on the website. I am going to. So uh, if you're interested in altcoins, you know, dot atom, then you can obviously check that over on the website. And the second announcement is if you want to learn about failed auctions, well, the failed auction video is also now on the website. This is an educational video, so you can learn all about failed auctions. This one is for the contenders and the champions. Well, and this is what we're going to be doing over on the failed auctions today. <laughs> so you can learn about that if you would like over on the website right now. Okay, the second one that I would like to do uh, announcement or not really announcements, but it was requested. So I said, hey, why not start 2023 in the transparent way or end 2022 when I posted this in the transparent way. And it was actually... Uh, this where people were interested about how much we're making off of the affiliate payments and so I decided hey, well, hey why, why not you know actually this was end 2022 but yeah basically of course if you don't already know chart champions are affiliates of Bybit okay and if you are interested in how much money we make well here are some of the statistics uh in that the week of trading here okay to the final week of 2022 we earned 400 dollars in commission a grand total of 400 dollars um and if you would like a comparison on the same day i was taking profits on my short position to lock in around 100 thousand dollars total profits on that trade that day in particular around 50 thousand dollars okay so you can see i just like to end by saying this basically cc pool chart champions do affiliate with bybit for the one and primary reason that it is my primary platform to trade on it's where you see me taking all my trades it's where i hold all my crypto okay on exchange it's just trade on bybit and so the commissions that we're earning are absolutely tiny okay in comparison to what we're making via our trades okay i go on to say there was once upon a time when a group of people of course people running another group so wanted to discredit my name you know saying that we earn more from bybit than we do from trading which is just simply not true the commissions truly are just tiny in comparison to what we make trading like less than one percent so you know, if you're interested in what we made here and, uh, you know, then how much we actually make trading. Well, now you know that information and, uh, you know, the why, why do we affiliate with Bybit? Well, the simple reason is, hey, uh, of course, we provide them a lot of volume. I'm trading, you know, multi-million dollars with them. Uh, this is the only one main accounts you're seeing, like massive figures and massive volume. And so, you know, that's where I trade. They said, hey, well, if you'd like, we can give you a well, you know, obviously you run a community as well, so we can give you a bonus for your community. They can get deposit bonuses. We'll give you sometimes trading bonuses. We'll give you, you know, discount on fees for your members. And I said, hey, why not? Everybody wins in this in this uh, example, right? 
And that's why we affiliated the the commissions that we make are absolutely insignificant. If you understand our revenue, even of chart champions, if you understand how much we're making trading, this is an absolute tiny, insignificant amount. And you have to remember, this is even when we've got like you know a few thousand um, clients under the under the you know affiliate. It's just absolutely tiny. So if that's of interest to you, well now you know that's the transparency that you requested, and now that's what I've given to you, right? Um, so yeah, that's everything there. And now I want to move on to finally what we are looking at next. How long has this video gone on for? 15 minutes. So let's try and wrap this up by giving you some key information. So obviously, as I mentioned to my group this morning, that VWAP was my next level to the downside. That VWAP has now been tapped. So when you zoom in here very closely, you can see we slightly missed it on this candle, uh, but we now have finally tapped it around, you know, just around... Uh, one hour ago, we, we, we managed to get that tap. So now we've got that tap and we've got this little bit of a bounce underway. Okay, so for me, as always in trading, it is a level to level game. OK, so just as, for example, when we were here, our next level to the downside was the value area low. OK, upon seeing the reaction, I recognize this was a good place to long. Because the reaction here, as you can see, was very bullish. We tapped it. Lovely reaction. I take a long. OK, I didn't know we were going to bounce off that value area low, but, but, you know, ahead of time. All I can recognize is that's the next level that I'm willing to take a trade. I see the reaction. I take the trade, take profits on the short, open a long position. OK, just like this morning. OK, or you could say the same here off that CC. Did I know that CC was going to hold? No, but I did know it was my next level to the downside and it did offer a very nice reaction. thus another long trade. From this morning, we had the failed auction of this high. That failed auction does provide a nice short trade, which you could take down to the VWAP, which is now a nice take profit on that short. And then have your stop loss still above the high. So now you can be in this scenario where you have a short from the failed auction, if you if you follow following along with this. You could have a short from the failed auction, take profit one hit off of the VWAP. You can then have a long from either the value area low or the V or the CC retest. OK, and again, if you miss those levels, well, you've got to be in chart champions because they were <laughs> given to the champions all ahead of time. Right. That daily level, which is now, you know, that was a short for me as well, which is now closed. I'm not out in that short position. And uh, then the long from the CC, because that was that's where we got the reaction from. Right. So if you struggle getting these levels ahead of time, well, they're always given first inside of the group at chart champions. But from here, we can say we could have that short running and the long running either from the cc or the value area low or both if you use this as a compound and now it's a matter of patience okay so we could say um if we break and hold this last previous high so you can see there's two major highs that we can be looking at here so if we can reclaim let's say 16777 as support because you have to be aware of another swing failure pattern off the high. This is a possibility that I'm aware of. We've done it on the first high here, so we could do it on the second high here, just to be aware of taking the high and coming back down for a swing failure pattern or failed auction. But if we do reclaim that as support, our next level is going to be around this point of control, which is a zone. Please remember these two levels above us are zones, but we have this zone of the point of control, and then we have the zone of this daily level up here. OK, why do I refer to this as a zone? Because I wouldn't expect it to be the exact dollar. Sometimes I am expecting exact dollar touches and sometimes I recognize their zones. And this point of control for me is definitely a zone. So please take that, you know, 10, 15 dollars either side of the level. OK, but if we can reclaim that last high support, our next two levels are obvious. We do not know if this is going to hold as resistance or blast straight through. And that's the beauty of checking a reaction, right? OK, what is a reaction? If we had hit this level and just gone straight through it, there's no reaction, there's no trade. We form a lovely reaction, it's a trade. Here, the CC, we don't know if we're going to get a reaction or go straight through it. This is a reaction, thus you get another long trade. The same reverse applies here. If we just blast straight through a level, there's no trade. If we get a reaction, we got, a, we got an actionable setup, okay? That's the way that I approach this market. That's the way that I teach my students how to trade and, and it's how we are you know it's how we are creating a, an army of champion traders right because people learn from me this is exactly what i do this is how i profit on my trades and i'm consistently making money off this market and thus that's exactly how i teach you and uh, people are replicating that and finding success themselves which is of course beautiful to see um so yeah that's what i'm looking at next those are my next levels that i'm aware of for the time being one has to of course be patient wait for these levels to come into play 
recognize those levels to the upside to the downside of course we had that view app up now we've got our local uptrend which is around our, our daily level yeah so the daily level for me would be key down there again we could we could refer to this 100 percent as a zone okay so our zone of the daily down here as you can see that point of control to the daily wicks through it to take some liquidity absolutely acceptable um this v this cc is now slightly moved up as well by the way so you have to adjust this if we move up with price action right um but yeah those would be my next levels to the upside and downside i hope you've enjoyed that and understood it i hope you've enjoyed the insights of what i've given you why i've taken the trades what i was looking at live in the time how i'm managing those trades the transparency given to you and uh, making you aware of if you want to see more of altcoins or well, i've done that for the champions and if you want to learn about failed auctions well you can catch that for the contenders and the champions on the website right now uh, actually i'll end with a little bit of a clip that i'm going to win but this is a longer video right i'm going to end with a clip that's going to be of interest to you and this is explaining the new way that we are doing the uh, contenders videos and so this is something that we wanted to improve greatly and thus we've made a very big change for you so you can learn more efficiently as well it's all about efficiency on this change and we really think that this is a massive upgrade for you as uh, you know as you learn to trade and become successful so i'll attach that to the end of the video something i recorded a few days ago but i'll attach it so you can listen to that and then we'll wrap up the video um so yeah Pay attention to this next bit and thank you ever so much. Hello and welcome to the brand new contender sessions that we will be presenting to you going forwards. We came together at Chart Champions and we thought to ourselves, what is our number one main goal at Chart Champions? And well, the answer was easy. It's you. It's to make you into a profitable and consistent trader. OK, that's what we want. We want an army of champions alongside us that are trading well, meeting their dreams, getting their goals. You know, we want to see you accomplishing that and coming back and reaping the rewards alongside us. So how do we make you into a profitable and consistent trader that has that confidence and knows what they're doing? It's via the contenders streams, right? It's via transferring that knowledge and insights that we have and sharing that theory to you of our trading abilities, what we use every day. We want you to fully understand that. So we've come together and we've really thought to ourselves, how can we better the contender streams that we're currently doing? How can we make this even better, even easier to understand so you can start trading quicker? OK, well, we've come together. We've thought a lot about this. We've spent a lot of time and effort really thinking, how can we make this better? And what we've come to a conclusion of is instead of doing a live stream on a Wednesday, we are going to be pre-recording that contenders lesson and we're going to be uploading that to the website on a Monday. And then on Wednesday, we'll be having a contenders live stream. So you're still going to have that live interaction with the coaches, but we're going to be doing the layout slightly different. And I'd like to just briefly explain why exactly we are going to be doing this layout for you. OK, there's three primary reasons. OK, and uh, well, here we go. Primary reason number one of why we've decided to implement this improvement. And that is we want to give you a fast and efficient learning path. OK, so these lessons will be concise, free from disruption, and you will get the technical analysis theory delivered to you in the fastest way possible. OK, very simple. You know, expanding upon this, we have you know done our research. We've read the statistics and our, our live streams from the past. They've been an hour, hour and a half, some even going two hours long. And people are not being able to stay focused for that length of time. And it's totally totally normal when you read the statistics and you see this. People aren't you know built to be concentrating one, two hours inside of a video. No, by by pre-recording this material, we're hoping we can work hard to condense the information, giving you absolutely everything you need to know, but in a much more efficient way. So we'll be going, aiming to go from two hours to around that 20, 30 minute mark. It's gonna be a lot better for you to digest that information, okay? Point number two, okay, is by uploading the lesson on a Monday afternoon, you will have plenty of time to study that lesson absorb that information and even maybe have a day practicing using that information. Thus, it will give you more time for well thought out questions for that Wednesday's live 
technical analysis um question and answer stream wednesday is a questions and answer stream you know by doing that lesson and uploading it on the monday you're going to have a few days to really think about that question before you can post it to us and we will answer it on the wednesday okay we think that's a really big advantage and uh point number three is by making the lessons more efficient uh we will give you more time to actually revise and practice the technical analysis theory on your of course paper charts um so those three points are what we really believe are going to push this to the next level we really believe this is going to help you a lot it's going to really make the contenders lessons just a lot more yeah basically that final word efficiency it's going to be a lot more efficient it's going to be a lot more able to absorb that information a lot a lot better we really believe this is a very big improvement and you will be noticing this throughout well throughout the rest of the course that we'll be delivering to you um you know and the final words that i'll end with here are practice makes perfect and when it comes to trading practice makes profit so there you go chart champions i hope that you enjoy the contenders videos from here on out thank you ever so much and cc pool send their regards